This tutorial is to show you how to add an image gallery in the Flexible CMS and we will add that gallery to a page that is live on our website so you can see not only how to add a new gallery but how to put it in your content. Once you've logged in, click on Pages and then let's go right over to Page Gallery. That will show you the galleries that you have loaded already on your site, but we want to add a new one. So I am going to click in under gallery name and enter a new gallery. I'm going to call it example gallery. And you can just click save and that'll save a gallery with no images in it, but let's just click browse and add our first image right into it. I'm going to click on this image and then click Save. So now you have a new gallery and we have our first image in it. Give it a title and a description. And you would give it a URL but I'm going to skip that part just for now. Click Save. And now if we go back to page gallery, you'll see that we have the example gallery, we have one image in it, and we will be able to add that gallery to a new page or any page that has content on it. So I'm going to click on all pages to go find a page to add this new gallery to. And let's add it on our team. Now you can um, edit content on your pages by clicking the blue link to the page or clicking the pencil icon, which is the edit this page icon. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here under page gallery, and so where it says select page gallery settings, you can click in there and find the gallery that you created. This one was called example gallery, so I'm going to click on that. And I am going to scroll back up to the top and click save. You don't have to republish a page once it's published. That's why I didn't click publish. And then you can click view and you'll see that my image gallery with one image in it has now shown up um, with the title of the gallery here. And it only has one image in it so um, the gallery is meant to evenly disperse on the page so it will fill in as you add more images to it. And that's how you add a new gallery to your content. Now if you don't want the gallery on your content anymore, you can go back to the default by clicking into Page Gallery and select Page Gallery, which is the default, which is not having any gallery in there at all. So then I'm just going to click Save and I'll click View again so you can see that there is now no gallery on this particular page. And that is how you create a new gallery for your Flexible CMS website. Thanks for watching.